Isaiah 46 through 61 of the Holy Bible, American Standard Version. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter 46 Baal boweth down, Nebo stoopeth. Their idols are upon the beasts, and upon the cattle. The things that ye carried about are made a load, a burden to the weary beast. They stoop, they bow down together. They could not deliver the burden, but themselves are gone into captivity. Hearken unto me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, that have been born by me from their birth, that have been carried from the womb, and even to old age I am he, and even to hoar hairs will I carry you. I have made, and I will bear, yea, I will carry, and will deliver. To whom will ye liken me, and make me equal, and compare me, that we may be like? Such as lavish gold out of the bag, and weigh silver in the balance, they hire a goldsmith, and he maketh it a god. They fall down, yea, they worship. They bear it upon the shoulder, they carry it, and set it in its place, and it standeth. From its place shall it not remove. Yea, one may cry unto it, yet can it not answer, nor save him out of his trouble. Remember this, and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Calling a ravenous bird from the east, the man of my counsel from a far country, Yea, I have spoken, I will also bring it to pass. I have purposed, I will also do it. Hearken unto me, ye stout-hearted that are far from righteousness. I bring near my righteousness, it shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry, and I will place salvation in Zion for Israel my glory. End of chapter 46 Chapter 47 Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground without a throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind meal. Remove thy veil, strip off the train, uncover the leg, pass through the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and will spare no man. Our Redeemer, Jehovah of hosts, is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent, and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans for thou shalt no more be called the mistress of kingdoms. I was wroth with my people, I profaned mine inheritance, and gave them into thy hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the aged hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. And thou saidst, I shall be mistress for ever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end thereof. Now therefore hear this, Thou that art given to pleasures, that sittest securely, that sayest in thy heart, I am, and there is none else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. In their full measure shall they come upon thee, in the multitude of thy sorceries, and the great abundance of thine enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None seeth me, 
thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee and thou hast said in thy heart i am and there is none else besides me therefore shall evil come upon thee thou shalt not know the dawning thereof and mischief shall fall upon thee thou shalt not be able to put it away and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly which thou knowest not stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries wherein thou hast laboured from thy youth if so be thou shalt be able to profit if so be thou mayest prevail thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels let now the astrologers the star-gazers the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from the things that shall come upon thee behold they shall be as stubble the fire shall burn them they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame it shall not be a coal to warm at nor a fire to sit before thus shall the things be unto thee wherein thou hast laboured they that have trafficked with thee from thy youth shall wander every one to his quarter there shall be none to save thee end of chapter forty seven chapter forty eight hear ye this o house of jacob who are called by the name of israel and are come forth out of the waters of judah who swear by the name of jehovah and make mention of the god of israel but not in truth nor in righteousness for they call themselves of the holy city and stay themselves upon the god of israel jehovah of hosts is his name i have declared the former things from of old yea they went forth out of my mouth and i showed them suddenly i did them and they came to pass because i knew that thou art obstinate and thy neck is an iron sinew and thy brow brass therefore i have declared it to thee from of old before it came to pass i showed it thee lest thou shouldest say mine idol hath done them and my graven image and my molten image hath commanded them thou hast heard it behold all this and ye will ye not declare it i have showed thee new things from this time even hidden things which thou hast not known they are created now and not from of old and before this day thou heardest them not lest thou shouldest say behold i knew them yea thou heardest not yea thou knewest not yea from of old thine ear was not opened for i knew that thou didst deal very treacherously and wast called a transgressor from the womb for my name's sake will i defer mine anger and for my praise will I refrain for thee, that I cut thee not off. Behold, I have refined thee, but not as silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. For mine own sake, for mine own sake will I do it. For how should my name be profaned, and my glory will I not give to another? Hearken unto me, O Jacob, and Israel, my called. I am he, I am the first, I also am the last. Yea, my hand hath laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand hath spread out the heavens. When I call unto them, they stand up together. Assemble yourselves, all ye, and hear, who among them hath declared these things he whom jehovah loveth shall perform his pleasure on babylon and his arm shall be on the chaldeans i even i have spoken yea i have called him i have brought him and he shall make his way prosperous come ye near unto me hear ye this from the beginning i have not spoken in secret from the time that it was there am i 
and now the Lord Jehovah hath sent me, and his spirit. Thus saith Jehovah thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am Jehovah thy God, who teacheth thee to profit, who leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. O oh, that thou hadst hearkened to my commandments! Then had thy peace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Thy seed also had been as the sand, and the offspring of thy bowels like the grains thereof. His name would not be cut off nor destroyed from before me. Go ye forth from Babylon, flee ye from the Chaldeans, with a voice of singing declare ye, tell this, utter it even to the end of the earth. Say ye, Jehovah hath redeemed his servant Jacob. And they thirsted not when he led them through the deserts. He caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. He clave the rock also, and the waters gushed out. There is no peace, saith Jehovah, to the wicked. End of chapter 48 Chapter 49 Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken ye peoples from far. Jehovah hath called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name and he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me, and he hath made me a polished shaft. In his quiver hath he kept me close. And he said unto me, Thou art my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for naught and vanity. Yet surely the justice due to me is with Jehovah, and my recompense with my God. And now saith Jehovah that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him, and that Israel be gathered unto him. For I am honorable in the eyes of Jehovah, and my God is become my strength. Yea, he saith, it is too light a thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Thus saith Jehovah, the Redeemer of Israel, and his Holy One, to him whom man despiseth, to him whom the nation abhorreth, to a servant of rulers. Kings shall see and arise, princes, and they shall worship. Because of Jehovah that is faithful, even the Holy One of Israel, who hath chosen thee. Thus saith Jehovah, In an acceptable time have I answered thee, and in a day of salvation have I helped thee and I will preserve thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, to raise up the land, to make them inherit the desolate heritages, saying to them that are bound, Go forth, to them that are in darkness, show yourselves. They shall feed in the ways, and on all bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he that hath mercy on them will lead them, even by springs of water will he guide them. And I will make all my mountains away, and my highways shall be exalted. Lo, these shall come from far, and lo, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Sinem, Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For Jehovah hath comforted his people, and will have compassion upon his afflicted. But Zion said, Jehovah hath forsaken me, and the Lord hath forgotten me. Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? 
yea these may forget yet will not i forget thee behold i have graven thee upon the palms of my hands thy walls are continually before me thy children make haste thy destroyers and they that made thee waste shall go forth from thee lift up thine eyes round about and behold all these gather themselves together and come to thee as i live saith jehovah thou shalt surely clothe thee with them all as with an ornament and gird thyself with them like a bride for as for thy waste and thy desolate places and thy land that hath been destroyed surely now shalt thou be too straight for the inhabitants and they that swallowed thee up shall be far away the children of thy bereavement shall yet say in thine ears the place is too straight for me give place to me that i may dwell then shalt thou say in thy heart who hath begotten me these seeing i have been bereaved of my children and am solitary an exile and wandering to and fro and who hath brought up these behold i was left alone these where were they thus saith the lord jehovah behold i will lift up my hand to the nations and set up my ensign to the peoples and they shall bring thy sons in their bosom and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders and kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers they shall bow down to thee with their faces to the earth and lick the dust of thy feet and thou shalt know that i am jehovah and they that wait for me shall not be put to shame shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captives be delivered but thus saith jehovah even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered for i will contend with him that contendeth with thee and i will save thy children and i will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine and all flesh shall know that i jehovah am thy saviour and thy redeemer the mighty one of jacob end of chapter 49 chapter 50 thus saith jehovah where is the bill of your mother's divorcement wherewith i have put her away or which of my creditors is it to whom i have sold you behold for your iniquities were ye sold and for your transgressions was your mother put away wherefore when i came was there no man when i called was there none to answer is my hand shortened at all that it cannot redeem or have i no power to deliver behold at my rebuke i dry up the sea i make the rivers a wilderness their fish stink because there is no water and die for thirst i clothe the heavens with blackness and i make sackcloth their covering the lord jehovah hath given me the tongue of them that are taught that i may know how to sustain with words him that is weary he wakeneth morning by morning he wakeneth mine ear to hear as they that are taught the lord jehovah hath opened mine ear and i was not rebellious neither turned away backward i gave my back to the smiters and my cheeks to them that plucked off the hair i hid not my face from shame and spitting for the lord jehovah will help me therefore have i not been confounded therefore have i set my face like a flint and i know that i shall not be put to shame he is near that justifieth me who will contend with me let us stand up together who is mine adversary let him come near to me 
behold the lord jehovah will help me who is he that shall condemn me behold they all shall wax old as a garment the moth shall eat them up who is among you that feareth jehovah that obeyeth the voice of his servant he that walketh in darkness and hath no light let him trust in the name of jehovah and rely upon his god behold all ye that kindle a fire that gird yourselves about with firebrands walk ye in the flame of your fire and among the brands that ye have kindled this shall ye have of my hand ye shall lie down in sorrow End of chapter 50 Chapter 51 Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek Jehovah. Look unto the rock whence ye were hewn, and to the hole of the pit whence ye were digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bare you. For when he was but one, I called him, and I blessed him, and made him many. For Jehovah hath comforted Zion, he hath comforted all her waste places, and hath made her wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden of Jehovah. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Attend unto me, O my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation. For a law shall go forth from me, and I will establish my justice for a light of the peoples. My righteousness is near, my salvation is gone forth, and mine arms shall judge the peoples. The isles shall wait for me, and on mine arm shall they trust. Lift up your eyes to the heavens, and look upon the earth beneath. For the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be for ever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be ye dismayed at their revilings. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness shall be for ever, and my salvation unto all generations. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of Jehovah, Awake, as in the days of old, the generations of ancient times. Is it not thou that didst cut Rahab in pieces, that didst pierce the monster? Is it not thou that driedst up the sea, the waters of the great deep, that madest the depths of the sea a way for the redeemed to pass over? And the ransomed of Jehovah shall return, and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. I, even I, am he that comforteth you. Who art thou, that thou art afraid of man that shall die, and of the son of man that shall be made as grass? and hast forgotten Jehovah thy Maker, that stretched forth the heavens, and laid the foundations of the earth, and fearest continually all the day because of the fury of the oppressor, when he maketh ready to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? The captive exile shall speedily be loosed, and he shall not die and go down into the pit, neither shall his bread fail. For I am Jehovah thy God, who stirreth up the sea, so that the waves thereof roar. Jehovah of hosts is his name. And I have put my words in thy mouth, and have covered thee in the shadow of my hand, that I may plant the heavens, and lay the foundations of the earth, 
and say unto Zion, Thou art my people. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, that hast drunk at the hand of Jehovah the cup of his wrath. Thou hast drunken the bowl of the cup of staggering, and drained it. There is none to guide her among all the sons whom she hath brought forth. Neither is there any that taketh her by the hand among all the sons that she hath brought up. These two things are befallen thee, who shall bemoan thee. Desolation and destruction, and the famine and the sword, how shall I comfort thee? Thy sons have fainted, they lie at the head of all the streets, as an antelope in a net. They are full of the wrath of Jehovah, the rebuke of thy God. Therefore hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus saith thy Lord Jehovah, and thy God that pleadeth the cause of his people, Behold, I have taken out of thy hand the cup of staggering, even the bowl of the cup of my wrath. Thou shalt no more drink it again. And I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, that have said to thy soul, Bow down, that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy back as the ground, and as the street to them that go over. End of chapter 51 Chapter 52 Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion, put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall be no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust, Arise, sit on thy throne, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bonds of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus saith Jehovah, Ye were sold for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. For thus saith the Lord Jehovah, My people went down at the first into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Assyrian hath oppressed them without cause. Now therefore, what do I hear, saith Jehovah, seeing that my people is taken away for naught? They that rule over them do howl, saith Jehovah, and my name continually all the day is blasphemed. Therefore my people shall know my name, therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth, the voice of thy watchmen. They lift up the voice, together do they sing, for they shall see eye to eye, when Jehovah returneth to Zion. Break forth into joy, sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem. Jehovah hath comforted his people, he hath redeemed Jerusalem. Jehovah hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Depart ye, Depart ye, go ye out from thence, touch no unclean thing. Go ye out of the midst of her, cleanse yourselves, ye that bear the vessels of Jehovah. For ye shall not go out in haste, neither shall ye go by flight. For Jehovah will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your rearward. Behold, my servant shall deal wisely. He shall be exalted and lifted up, and shall be very high. Like as many were astonished at thee, his visage was so marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. So shall he sprinkle many nations. Kings shall shut their mouths at him. 
for that which had not been told them shall they see, and that which they had not heard shall they understand. End of chapter 52 Chapter 53 Who hath believed our message? And to whom hath the arm of Jehovah been revealed? For he grew up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness, and when we see him there is no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief, and as one from whom men hide their face he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs, and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one to his own way, and Jehovah hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, yet when he was afflicted he opened not his mouth, as a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and as a sheep that before its shearers is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away, and as for his generation, who among them considered that he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people to whom the stroke was due? And they made his grave with the wicked and with a rich man in his death. Although he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased Jehovah to bruise him, he hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of Jehovah shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. By the knowledge of himself shall my righteous servant justify many and he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out his soul unto death, and was numbered with the transgressors. Yet he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. End of chapter 53 Chapter 54 Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear. Break forth into singing, and cry aloud, thou that didst not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith Jehovah. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. For thou shalt spread abroad on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall possess the nations, and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame, for thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and the reproach of thy widowhood shalt thou remember no more. For thy Maker is thy husband, Jehovah of hosts is his name, and the Holy One of Israel is thy Redeemer. The God of the whole earth shall he be called. For Jehovah hath called thee as a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit, even a wife of youth when she is cast off, saith thy God. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. 
in overflowing wrath i hid my face from thee for a moment but with everlasting loving-kindness will i have mercy on thee saith jehovah thy redeemer for this is as the waters of noah unto me for as i have sworn that the waters of noah shall no more go over the earth so have i sworn that i will not be wroth with thee nor rebuke thee for the mountains may depart and the hills be removed but my loving-kindness shall not depart from thee neither shall my covenant of peace be removed saith jehovah that hath mercy on thee o thou afflicted tossed with tempest and not comforted behold i will set thy stones in fair colours and lay thy foundations with sapphires and i will make thy pinnacles of rubies and thy gates of carbuncles and all thy border of precious stones and all thy children shall be taught of jehovah and great shall be the peace of thy children in righteousness shalt thou be established thou shalt be far from oppression for thou shalt not fear and from terror for it shall not come near thee behold they may gather together but not by me whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall because of thee behold i have created the smith that bloweth the fire of coals and bringeth forth a weapon for his work and i have created the waster to destroy no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn this is the heritage of the servants of jehovah and their righteousness which is of me saith jehovah end of chapter fifty four chapter fifty five ho every one that thirsteth come ye to the waters and he that hath no money come ye buy and eat yea come buy wine and milk without money and without price wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread and your labour for that which satisfieth not hearken diligently unto me and eat ye that which is good and let your soul delight itself in fatness incline your ear and come unto me hear and your soul shall live and i will make an everlasting covenant with you even the sure mercies of david behold i have given him for a witness to the peoples a leader and commander to the peoples behold thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not and a nation that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of jehovah thy god and for the holy one of israel for he hath glorified thee seek ye jehovah while he may be found call ye upon him while he is near let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto jehovah and he will have mercy upon him and to our god for he will abundantly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith jehovah for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and bud and giveth seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto i sent it for ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace 
the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing and all the trees of the fields shall clap their hands instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree and it shall be to jehovah for a name for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off end of chapter 55 chapter 56 thus saith jehovah keep ye justice and do righteousness for my salvation is near to come and my righteousness to be revealed blessed is the man that doeth this and the son of man that holdeth it fast that keepeth the sabbath from profaning it and keepeth his hand from doing any evil neither let the foreigner that hath joined himself to jehovah speak saying jehovah will surely separate me from his people neither let the eunuch say behold i am a dry tree for thus saith jehovah of the eunuchs that keep my sabbaths and choose the things that please me and hold fast my covenant unto them will i give in my house and within my walls a memorial and a name better than of sons and of daughters i will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off also the foreigners that join themselves to jehovah to minister unto him and to love the name of jehovah to be his servants every one that keepeth the sabbath from profaning it and holdeth fast my covenant even them will i bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples the lord jehovah who gathereth the outcasts of israel saith yet will i gather others to him besides his own that are gathered all ye beasts of the field come to devour yea all ye beasts in the forest his watchmen are blind they are all without knowledge they are all dumb dogs they cannot bark dreaming lying down loving to slumber yea the dogs are greedy they can never have enough and these are shepherds that cannot understand they have all turned to their own way each one to his gain from every quarter come ye say they i will fetch wine and we will fill ourselves with strong drink and to-morrow shall be as this day a day great beyond measure End of chapter 56 Chapter 57 The righteous perisheth, and no man layeth it to heart. And merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. He entereth into peace. They rest in their beds, each one that walketh in his uprightness but draw near hither ye sons of the sorceress the seed of the adulterer and the harlot against whom do ye sport yourselves against whom make ye a wide mouth and put out the tongue are ye not children of transgression a seed of falsehood ye that inflame yourselves among the oaks under every green tree that slay the children in the valleys under the clefts of the rocks among the smooth stones of the valley is thy portion they they are thy lot even to them hast thou poured a drink offering thou hast offered an oblation shall i be appeased for these things upon a high and lofty mountain hast thou set thy bed thither also wentest thou up to offer sacrifice and behind the doors and the posts hast thou set up thy memorial 
for thou hast uncovered thyself to another than me, and art gone up. Thou hast enlarged thy bed, and made thee a covenant with them. Thou lovedst their bed where thou sawest it, and thou wentest to the king with oil, and didst increase thy perfumes, and didst send thine ambassadors far off, and didst debase thyself even unto Sheol. Thou wast wearied with the length of thy stay, yet saidst thou not, It is in vain. Thou didst find a quickening of thy strength, therefore thou wast not faint. And of whom hast thou been afraid and in fear, that thou liest, and hast not remembered me, nor laid it to thy heart? Have not I held my peace even of long time, and thou fearest me not? I will declare thy righteousness, and as for thy works, they shall not profit thee. When thou criest, let them that thou hast gathered deliver thee. But the wind shall take them, a breath shall carry them all away. But he that taketh refuge in me shall possess the land, and shall inherit my holy mountain. And he will say, Cast ye up, cast ye up, prepare the way, take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place, with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite. For I will not contend for ever, neither will I be always wroth, for the spirit would faint before me, and the souls that I have made. For the iniquity of his covetousness was I wroth, and smote him, I hid my face, and was wroth, and he went on backsliding in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways, and will heal him. I will lead him also, and restore comforts unto him, and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips, peace, peace to him that is far off, and to him that is near, saith Jehovah and I will heal him. But the wicked are like the troubled sea, for it cannot rest, and its waters cast up mire and dirt. There is no peace, saith my God, to the wicked. End of chapter 57 Chapter 58 Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and declare unto my people their transgression, and to the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily, and delight to know my ways, as a nation that did righteousness, and forsook not the ordinance of their God, they ask of me righteous judgments, they delight to draw near unto God. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast ye find your own pleasure, and exact all your labors. Behold, ye fast for strife and contention, and to smite with the fist of wickedness. Ye fast not this day so as to make your voice to be heard on high. Is such the fast that I have chosen, the day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a rush, and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Wilt thou call this a fast, and an acceptable day to Jehovah? Is not this the fast that I have chosen? to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the bands of the yoke, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house? 
when thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy healing shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of Jehovah shall be thy rearward. Then shalt thou call, and Jehovah will answer. Thou shalt cry, and he will say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking wickedly, and if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in darkness, and thine obscurity be as the noonday. And Jehovah will guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in dry places, and make strong thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places, Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, and the holy of Jehovah honorable, and shalt honour it, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. Then shalt thou delight thyself in Jehovah, and I will make thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and I will feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of Jehovah hath spoken it. End of chapter 58 Chapter 59 Behold, Jehovah's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, so that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue muttereth wickedness. None sueth in righteousness, and none pleadeth in truth. They trust in vanity, and speak lies. They conceive mischief, and bring forth iniquity. They hatch adder's eggs, and weave the spider's web. He that eateth of their eggs dieth and that which is crushed breaketh out into a viper. Their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Desolation and destruction are in their paths. The way of peace they know not, and there is no justice in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein doth not know peace. Therefore is justice far from us, neither doth righteousness overtake us. We look for light, but behold darkness, for brightness, but we walk in obscurity. We grope for the wall like the blind, yea, we grope as they that have no eyes. We stumble at noonday as in the twilight, among them that are lusty, we are as dead men. We roar all like bears, and moan sore like doves. We look for justice, but there is none, for salvation, but it is far off from us. For our transgressions are multiplied before thee, and our sins testify against us. For our transgressions are with us, and as for our iniquities, we know them, transgressing and denying Jehovah, and turning away from following our God, speaking oppression and revolt, 
conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood and justice is turned away backward and righteousness standeth afar off for truth is fallen in the street and uprightness cannot enter yea truth is lacking and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey and jehovah saw it and it displeased him that there was no justice and he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor therefore his own arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness it upheld him and he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head and he put on garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a mantle according to their deeds accordingly he will repay wrath to his adversaries recompense to his enemies to the islands he will repay recompense so shall they fear the name of jehovah from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun for he will come as a rushing stream which the breath of jehovah driveth and a redeemer will come to zion and unto them that turn from transgression in jacob saith jehovah and as for me this is my covenant with them saith jehovah my spirit that is upon thee and my words which i have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth nor out of the mouth of thy seed nor out of the mouth of thy seed's seed saith jehovah from henceforth and for ever. End of chapter 59 Chapter 60 Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of Jehovah is risen upon thee. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the peoples. But Jehovah will rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee, and nations shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see, they all gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be carried in the arms. Then thou shalt see and be radiant, and thy heart shall thrill and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be turned unto thee, the wealth of the nations shall come unto thee, the multitude of camels shall cover thee, the dromedaries of Midian and Ephah, all they from Sheba shall come, they shall bring gold and frankincense, and shall proclaim the praises of Jehovah. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Nebaioth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as a cloud, and as the doves to their windows? Surely the isles shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them, for the name of Jehovah thy God, and for the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. And foreigners shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee, for in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Thy gates also shall be open continually, they shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the wealth of the nations, and their kings led captive. For that nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish, yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine, and the box tree together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious, 
and the sons of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee and all they that despised thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet and they shall call thee the city of jehovah the zion of the holy one of israel whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated so that no man passed through thee i will make thee an eternal excellency a joy of many generations thou shalt also suck the milk of the nations and shalt suck the breast of kings and thou shalt know that i jehovah am thy saviour and thy redeemer the mighty one of jacob for brass i will bring gold and for iron i will bring silver and for wood brass and for stones iron i will also make thy officers peace and thine exactors righteousness violence shall no more be heard in thy land desolation nor destruction within thy borders but thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise the sun shall be no more thy light by day neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee but jehovah will be unto thee an everlasting light and thy god thy glory thy sun shall no more go down neither shall thy moon withdraw itself for jehovah will be thine everlasting light and the days of thy mourning shall be ended thy people also shall be all righteous they shall inherit the land for ever the branch of my planting the work of my hands that i may be glorified the little ones shall become a thousand and the small one a strong nation i jehovah will hasten it in its time End of chapter 60 Chapter 61 The Spirit of the Lord Jehovah is upon me, because Jehovah hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the year of Jehovah's favor, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them a garland for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of Jehovah, that he may be glorified and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations and they shall repair the waste cities the desolations of many generations and strangers shall stand and feed your flocks and foreigners shall be your ploughmen and your vine dressers but ye shall be named the priests of jehovah men shall call you the ministers of our god ye shall eat the wealth of the nations and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves instead of your shame ye shall have double and instead of dishonor they shall rejoice in their portion therefore in their land they shall possess double everlasting joy shall be unto them for I, Jehovah, love justice, I hate robbery with iniquity, and I will give them their recompense in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them, and their seed shall be known among the nations, and their offspring among the peoples. All that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which Jehovah hath blessed. I will greatly rejoice in Jehovah. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness. 
as a bridegroom decketh himself with a garland, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. For as the earth bringeth forth its bud, and as the garden causeth the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord Jehovah will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. End of chapter 61